Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. This is Hunter and today I've got a pretty slick camper. Uh, it is a bath and a half, has a washer and dryer, nice front living. Pass through, uh, when you pass through the bedroom, you get to this his and her bathroom, which is just freaking awesome. Outdoor kitchen, really has everything you need in a camper for under 50 G skis. Um, yeah, let's head on inside and check it out. And if you guys like RV videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, but let's do a quick little glance here over into the kitchen and then in the living room. Uh, let's start up here. But as I said, front living, island kitchen, big old bedroom, awesome bath and a half. I mean, this whole thing, it's got everything that you want. And right up here in the front, the first thing you're going to notice uh, the biggest TV I've probably seen in an RV, um, that, that thing is, is just a good size, about 50 inches it looks like. Storage on either side, uh, outlets on either side, which is nice. You know, your USB, bada bing, bada boom, so you're good with anything that you need electronic wise. Storage similar on both sides, and that of course is on a swivel. Down here, I just want to show you this here. I'm not going to put it all the way up, but right here, you'll notice you can turn that on. 66 degrees is what it's on right now. It has a setting for 100 degrees. So no matter how cold it is up for here, this is really all the heat you're going to need uh, in this camper. So you're going to save a lot of money on propane, which is always nice. We know how you can burn through those tanks almost in one cool night. And, you know, that just really takes care of it right there. Whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. I've been running around like a madman today. It's a great day. Good start to the month. Already sold over 10. Uh, myself, which is always nice. But what you got right here, uh, couches will pull out, bada bing, bada boom, plenty of extra sleeping. Although this is, you know, a couple's coach, there is so much extra room for other people. You could easily fit four adults uh, between the two. Storage here, let me show you that. I did skip a Rooney that. And as always, guys, make sure to comment. Uh, let me know what I'm doing, if I'm doing well, if I'm doing bad, if there's something that I can add. Actually, if I'm doing bad, don't say that, but just tell me what I can do to make them better in the future. You got your zebra shades, which are always nice. It's kind of replacing that need for that day and night shade. Dracula mode. Normal person mode. And you're good to go. You have these nice recliners here, which have all sorts of settings that you're probably familiar with in the camping industry. Uh, but you have, you can turn on some lights there for some ambient lighting, maybe at night when you're watching a movie. You got your heater mode there, and you got some vibrating. And that's always nice. And of course, like I said, they do recline out. So that way, you know, really you could sleep there. And what I do like is they actually put a speaker up here. So that way if you're watching movies, it gets quite loud if you're the kind of person like myself that likes to do that. You're going to notice you have accent lighting just about everywhere in this camper nice little added touch ceiling fan in the kitchen we all know how good that is for you for circulation on your campers uh, you can never get too much of that these things can get stuffy if you don't have things you know like the fan there island kitchen model accent lighting underneath i think this thing looks great uh, it's a really nice really nice sturdy feel to it solid center counter surf that solid surface countertops Black stainless steel, big old bowl. This guy's one of those wiggly doodads. It's taped up, ready for the ready to go tomorrow. Hand sanitizing station below. Hello, COVID. You are good to go. Plenty of drawer space for those bad boys. Nice under storage. Good size dinette there, so that way you can play all your cards or have your dinner. Zebra shades all over the place. Nice residential feel for the lights. I mean, look at those things. Those just look good on camera, don't they? And that brings us around to here. Just a nice little, like, a workstation, storage station. Uh, just a good place to put some extra stuff. You got some TV remotes right there for now. But I love how versatile this camper is. You know, I mean, it just takes the, um, it's got everything. Bath and a half, front living, which is my personal favorite. But I just can't wait for you to see this bathroom uh, that I'll show you 
just back there. A little sneak peeker for you. Big boy refrigerator, one of the larger ones in the game. Not going to pretend to pronounce that. Hire, hair, something like that. Luckily for me, the RV industry hires you if you're nice. Just a nice quality residential refrigerator. Your contour microwave, so you're good to go cooking foods. Your Greystone oven. Three burners up top right here with an outlet, so that way you're good to go. And there are some lights right here you can pop on as well. And right here, you got yourself like a little pantry. And then check this out. So just a nice little added touch. And again, you know, for a camper that's under $50,000, these are usually things that you, you know, you don't typically get. It looks good. It's built well. It's nice and sharp. And when I mentioned earlier, the bath and a half, here is that half bath. Nothing gigantic. But it's fantastic if you guys have guests over or kids, you're running around at the campground, you don't want them in your bedroom, uh, you know, you're good to go. You can get everything done here. Before we go to the bedroom, I just want to show you, here's more of kind of like a docking station for, you know, charging devices or any little knickknack items you got there. You got your outlets, USBs, a whole bunch of them. So you're good to go with a small little army of people, storage below and above. So you're good to go. Let's head right on into the bedroom here and check this out. Big boy bed, looking like a king. You got lights here and here, plenty of storage underneath. Again, you got some shades that'll block out the sun for you for while you're sleeping. USB and outlet, USB and outlet. Uh, you know, the control for the for the AC and all that good stuff. And let me sit down on the bed here. Nice little place for a TV backer right there. You got your hookups right above. And storage to the left and to the right. And again, guys, if you guys have made it this far, please make sure to sub for me. Make sure you guys watch my next uh, couple videos or, you know, like, comment. Anything that'll help me is greatly appreciated. But check out this bathroom. This is by far... One of my top three favorite bathrooms in the RV industry. There is just so much space in here, so much storage. And as we know, there is never enough storage in campers, especially in the bathroom where you can barely fit, you know, more than a couple towels. Storage underneath here, you're good to go. His and her sinks, which is always nice. And then check this out. Nice, good size shower where you can take a seat, do what you got to do. A sunlight there so you get some natural lighting. Huge storage up front for anything that you need back here or really just kind of that rainy day storage. And this customer decided to add on the Splendid, Splendide uh, washer and dryer stackable. So you can fit a full stackable washer and dryer back here in your own privacy of your own bathroom. So that way your guests aren't messing with your stuff. But this is about it for the inside. I'm going to take you around the outside, you know, for a much quicker walk around. A couple minutes, maybe. And if you guys dig uh, some short versions of the videos, I do make 30 to 45 second videos of uh, every camper here that I tour. It's just really quick, lightning speed through. And that is in that shorts playlist. Definitely something to check out if you guys want to see a ton of campers in a short time. Your more ride steps, nice pass through storage right there. And you'll notice here on the slides, they are prepped for your slide toppers. Those will run you uh, 700 bucks a piece. You don't want to put one on here because of the awning. But as I mentioned before, this does have your outdoor kitchen. And that will actually drain there, so you're good to go. You got some storage. Nice little refrigerator for some brewskis. Six-point auto leveling on this bad boy. And then right up here, you're going to notice you uh, there is a Furion observation camera. You can add that onto the camper for 550 bucks. Really nice to uh, you know for while you're driving around. 
And all three of these slides, you can put a slide topper on if you'd like. Every single one of them is prepped, as you can see. <coughs> Just a really nice camper at an amazing price point. It's definitely a volume unit. They sell a ton of them. I sell a ton of them. We are the my dealership that I work at. You know, we're their number one dealer in the entire country. So you know you're getting the best price. But I appreciate everyone watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.